think that archaeologists are very reluctant to accept the broader idea. They are willing, they can hardly deny that some structures are specifically aligned to the equinoctial rising point of the sun, in other words, due east. And other structures are aligned to the rising or the setting of the sun on the summer or the winter solstice. That cannot be denied. Serpent Mound in Ohio is a classic example of that, uh, which, is, which is oriented precisely to the setting sun on the winter solstice. But the, the, the broader idea that, for example, uh, positions of stars in the sky might be replicated on the ground, uh, that's an idea that archaeology uh, completely rejects. And that's where I would like to pay tribute to my dear friend, Robert Boval, who's been very ill for the last many years. But Robert Boval brought us the Orion correlation. And my God, did archaeology descend upon him like a ton of bricks for just noticing that the three great pyramids of Giza are laid out on the ground in the pattern of the three stars of Orion's belt. And then when we work precession into the equation, we find that they're not laid out in the pattern of Orion's belt as it looked in 2500 BC when the pyramids are supposed to have been built. They're laid out in the pattern of Orion's belt in 10,500. 500 BC, 12 and a half thousand years ago.